What is wind chill? And how does it affect your body? Wind chill, mentioned in morning weather reports and noted in weather apps, is a measure of how cold the air feels on your skin. And it's an important forecast for public safety. People exposed to minus 100 and light winds can experience frostbite in 30 minutes, but increase those winds to more than 60 miles per hour and frostbite can occur in under five minutes. How do meteorologists calculate wind chill? When a person stands outside in the cold, their body begins to lose heat. But just like a person blowing heat away from a hot bowl of soup, cold winds whisk away body heat more quickly, making it feel colder outside. Calculating wind chill can help people better prepare for harsh outdoor conditions. Cold weather can cause hypothermia when the body's temperature falls below 95F or frostbite when body tissue freezes and could be permanently damaged. Meteorologists calculate wind chill using this formula calculated by the National Weather Service NWS that considers wind speed and air temperature, though other factors like a sunny day can make the temperature feel warmer. Why did we use it? The term wind chill was first coined in 1939 by geographer and Antarctic explorer Paul Seipel. With his fellow explorer, Charles Passel, the two experimented with how long it took to freeze water under different air and wind conditions. Using this data, they created formulas to determine how wind might influence how temperature feels on skin. Over time, their formulas have been updated with more precise computer models and experiments with humans. A study published in 2000 to expose six male and six female subjects to different temperatures and wind speeds and measured heat loss through sensors on their face. While these experiments help scientists establish baseline data on how heat leaves the body in healthy adults, some populations including children, the elderly, and adults with health issues face a greater risk from wind chill. Other ways to measure how it feels outside. The formula used by the NWS to determine wind chill is not the only method used to calculate how environmental conditions influence how hot or cold the temperature feels. Weather forecasting service Ecoweather has their own proprietary index called the Real Field Temperature. According to Ecoweather's Chief Meteorologist Jonathan Porter, their index factors in weather conditions that NWSS wind chill does not, such as dew point, cloud cover, and precipitation. Another model, more commonly used in Europe, is called the Universal Thermal Climate Index, and it also considers conditions like humidity and sunshine. The NWS uses only air temperature and wind speed in their wind chill, estimate to provide a snapshot of the most influential weather conditions that influence how temperature feels. Using the simplest calculation, according to Michael Muchili, the NWS Winter Program Coordinator, how to stay safe when the wind chill drops, wine chill, and other estimates of how cold it feels outside are ultimately forecasted to help inform people about potentially deadly weather. Stay inside when there's risk of frostbite or hypothermia. But if you must go outside, plan accordingly. Dress in layers, as many as three or more for extreme cold. Cover extremities like fingers and toes. Wear a hat to prevent heat loss from your head. And make sure outer layers and shoes are waterproof. And take shelter from the wind, advises Muchili. Remember that dangerous health issues especially when wind chill is at its most extreme, can take hold in minutes.